was welcome back to beer reviews from the beer search. Um, well, as you can tell, I'm on location today, and uh, yeah, the beer search has been deployed. Well, I don't know fucking why they've done that, but they have. They've deployed me um, to um, the Bay of Islands, and uh, last time I was deployed up here was. about 20 years ago and that would not have been tolerated um, but apparently we do now we tolerate this sort of thing um, but yeah different times different times different people um, yeah so I'm in an accommodation block which is fucking pretty nice for the beer sage it's pretty nice for the beer sage um, and anyway this beer review is not going to be a beer review as such more of a venue review and uh, it's of the Bay of Islands. But I don't get up here much because I fucking hate it. Um, I do not like it. But anyway, let's have a look. This is where, this is where I'm staying. So that's what I'm going to put up with. I'm going to put up with that sort of shit there. You know, fucking seawater and islands. Uh, this road's a bit of a cunt. Um, but apart from that, down here you have, you have uh, Zangrays and Charlotte's Kitchen. Charlotte's Kitchen is out there. Mm, the two of them. Zane Gray's and Charlotte's Kitchen. Um, like on, on any given summer's day, this would be blue sky, fucking green water. And it would look really nice. But we've had a bit of rain lately and this is actually, it just looks like shit. It actually looks like someone's just emptied the fucking dishwasher and the fucking, uh, the washing machine and chucked it into the fucking harbour. Um, so it looks like shit, which is a bit rough. It's a bit rough for the Bay of Islands because, you know, they've got a reputation. Mm, yes, they've got a reputation. Oh boy, if they've got a reputation. Anyway. So let's get back to the um, venue review. This is not a beer review, it's a venue review. And I'm gonna throw you down here because it's a lot easier for me to do a venue review. A venue review. I'll let a few beers say. Uh, just just fucking bear with me. Bear with, bear with. So I finished my work and I fucked off downtown and I thought, you know what, I'll just grab a beer. I'll go to a couple of couple of places, grab the and see what they're like. Um, because because the beer sarge has been, um, as you can see, in the fucking heat. The beer sarge likes the heat, but he just likes sun. You got fucking got a bit. You got a bit sun. So initially we went to Charlotte's Kitchen. So well, we when I say we, I mean me. I was by myself. Went to Charlotte's Kitchen, walked into the fucking Charlotte's Kitchen, which is probably one of the premier restaurant y fucking places, so they say, in the Bay of Islands, in Pie here. Pie here, I hate it, but Pie here. So I rock up there, go to the bar. No one greets me at the door and says, okay, what, what are you after? I just walk in, walk straight to the bar, uh, ask for the bartender behind the bar for a beer, they had a tuatara there, I oh, fucking put that on it, grab a low sink some tuatara, he pours it out for me and then goes, $16, thank you, and I'm like, $16 fucking dollars for a, for a fucking pint of beer, fucking okay, alright, there, there you go, paid for it, thought right, I'll go and have a seat, I'll sit down and I'll look over the fucking, um, water, over the water, and I'll have a nice, cool, refreshing beer. No, they had all the plastic curtains down and locked, couldn't get any breeze, so I'm sitting basically in a plastic fucking glass house, um, frying my tits off, drinking a very nice Tertara beer. So, I finished that in probably record time of about fucking a minute. I just fucking chopped the cunt. Um, yeah, so Charlotte's Kitchen, zero out of 10 for atmosphere, 
uh, fucking customer service, uh, everything, zero, fucking zero. Tuatara, 10 out of 10, what a great fucking beer that was. So I decided to go then to Zane Grey's, which is next door, sort of. That's the big round sort of restaurant. Zane Grey was a, he was a fucking fishing legend, better known for his fucking amazing fucking cowboy books. So anyway, so I rocked to fucking Zane Grey's. There's a bit of a line, so I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm excited. I'm like, oh, people like to be here. And there's a few tables, are all full, I'm like sweet. So I get to the bar, they've got a generic, uh, Zane Grey fucking ale on sale. So oh, the guy says, you know, what are you after? I said, I'll have a Zane Grey ale, thank you, I want to try that. And he pours that. I go and sit right out the end of the uh, restaurant, overlooking the bay, and oh, I had a fucking great time. I was, I was by myself, so I always have a great time when I'm by myself because, you know, I am such great company. Um, would have been better if Mrs. B. Sarge was there, but unfortunately she is. She is currently in the in the Tamaki Makara fucking area, uh, and she is drinking gin. Uh, God, I wish I was with her, but I am not. Anyway, so I'm out there. I'm having a great time because I'm by myself, and I am drinking this Zangre ale. Now, it's an old ale, it's a, it's a multi ale, it's very nice, it's very nice, it's a, I, I feel it's a little under carbonated but that's okay because on a hot day it means I can chop it quickly, so I'm chopping this ale, um, and yeah, I'd give that a 8, 7.5, 7.5 out of 10 for the ale, it was pretty good, um, but I, th I it's it's not a Zane Grey ale. It's not one they brew themselves. I would un hundred percent. I would think that it's a big brewery ale that they've rebranded as Zane Grey's ale. And well, fuck, who gives a shit really? That's pretty cool. So yeah, so it is Zane Grey ale. Anyway, it's not quite dinner time. I whip over to the Saudi, which is like kind of my local when I come up here. The Bay of Islands Saudi Club. But I'll generally come over here for a bit. Uh, fuck me, closed. I'm like, what the fuck? Had a look. Yeah, they don't open at four. Um, yeah, the beer sergeant's on the piss earlier than that. He finished at two, so he's fucking down the town and he's on the piss. So, where do I go? So I go for a wander and I'm like, fuck, I need to find somewhere. And I uh, stumble across this fucking little bar. Now, it's it's in a place called Pie Hair Lines. Uh, you wander down the main street, Kings Road, I think it is. You wander down Kings Road, you get to a place called Pie Hair Lines, and you turn right. And you, if you're coming from north, turn right, wander into there, go down there, and at the end of the uh, end of the sort of the, it's sort of a mall. You get there, it's not a mall, it's a fucking alley. You get down in there, and there is this fucking bar in there called Bad Habits. So I walked in there, and initially I went in there because it had, um, I'd had a, it had a good vibe, like, it, it, they've got like a, they've got a bar, they've got a bistro, and then further on they've got like a wholesalers, and they sell fucking everything. And the thing that drew me in, uh, it shouldn't do, but it did, was a knee on their head with Sailor Jerry's on it, now Sailor Jerry's is, you know, for those who don't know, for those who don't know, Sailor Jerry's is the best age's fucking favourite um, rum. He fucking loves the I love Sailor Jerry's rum. Um, that's the best age's favourite rum. And I saw the I saw the um, Sailor Jerry's neon and I thought, fuck it, I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna get the Sailor Jerry's. So I walked in and I was like, ah, oh, you know what, I don't really need a Sailor Jerry's today, I'm just gonna have a beer. So I cracked onto a Heineken. And I sat down, I had a Heineken, or two, or three, uh, and I had a feed. I bought a burger there, because, you know, when you're on travel allowances, you tend to spend up large, so, so that's what I did. I, I bought myself a, a fucking burger, and two or three Heinekens, and I, I enjoyed myself. Now, 
it's it's a gin bar. It's a bad habit. It's a gin bar. They got fucking so many fucking gins on display. Uh, their cocktail menu is just full of fucking gin cocktails. Um, I'm really thinking that I'm going to be bringing Mrs. Beer Sarge back up here to to pie here, even though I fucking do not like it up here. I do not like pie here. There's something about it. It's got a. It's one of those things that gets into me. Um, but we're going to come back up here and we're going to go to Bad Habits and we're going to try some of their gin cocktails because they seem to be fucking pretty awesome. Um, yeah, there's some there's some goodies there. So there you go. That's that's not a beer review from the beer side. It's more of a venue review. If you're coming up here to the Bay of Islands to pie here, um, Charlotte's Kitchen, fuck off. Zane Gray's, nah, you're all right. Um, and Bad Habits, fuck yes, you get a fucking thumbs up from the beer search. Um, and I will sit here in this fucking terrible town with assholes you can't drive, drinking a, I know, fucking shoot me now, Stiney Pure, I won't even show you the label, a Stiney Pure overlooking the magnificent Bay of Islands. Um, prior to one of the one of the greatest days that we have every year in New Zealand is Waitangi Day. Now, you can be a wanker and say, I fucking hate Waitangi Day, you know, fucking blah blah. But to to be honest, it's a day that, you know, it's all fucking Kiwis. I don't know what whatever fucking race, creed, colour, brand, fucking bloodline, blood type. Um, hair colour, fucking hair length, whatever it is, on the 6th of February, every year, fucking Kiwis are united, and it is this day. So, hope you enjoy your watch any day. Be a side job.